Ahkam in minutes. Purifiers. In our previous video, we spoke about Najis things. In this video, we would like to explain that if something became Najis, how can we purify it and make it Tahir? We should know that none of the mentioned Najis things can become Tahir in itself. For example, it's impossible to wash a pig and make it Tahir, but we can certainly purify the plate that was touched by a pig. So, how can we purify things which were touched by Najasat? There are eight important methods and let's take a closer look at them. First and the foremost as a purifying agent is water. With pure and clean water, many things that had become Najis can be purified again. How? We'll explain this, but before that, let's continue with the other methods. The second purifying agent is earth. The soles of feet and shoes are rented Tahir by walking on the dry and Tahir earth, provided that the Najas substance is removed as a result of walking or wiping. Note that the Najasa should have originated from the earth, and if it was from other sources, the earth cannot serve as a purifying agent. The third purifying agent is the sun. It can render grounds and buildings Tahir by drying them up, provided that the actual Najasa is removed. The fourth purifying agent is by transformation. If Najas wood is used in fire and turned into ashes, the latter is Tahir. The transformation should change the essence of the substance. It should become an entirely new thing. For example, if Najas water freezes into ice, it still stays Najas because its essence is still water. The fifth purifying agent is the change of alcohol into vinegar. During the process of fermentation, grape juice turns into alcohol, which is Najis. Then after many days, if this alcohol turns into vinegar, it becomes Tahir. This is called Inqilab and refers only to vinegar. The sixth purifying agent is called transfer. For example, when a mosquito sucks human blood, this blood goes into its body and becomes a part of the mosquito whose blood doesn't gush out. In this way, the Najis blood in the mosquito becomes Tahir. The seventh purifying agent is the state of belonging or affiliation. For example, if a Najis garment was washed with water, it would become Tahir, and so would the hands that washed it. Also, if alcohol turns into vinegar, it becomes Tahir. As a result, the jar that contains it becomes Tahir too. In this method, Najis will become Tahir as the result of something else becoming Tahir. The eighth purifying agent is the removal of Najasa. In some instances, if the Najasa is removed from certain parts of the human body, that part of the body will immediately become Tahir and no need for any other purification. Specifically, this refers to the parts inside the mouth ear and the nose. In other words, if you see blood in these parts, as soon as the blood is removed, they become Tahir. That is, there is no need to use water. Now, we'll take a closer look at the most important purifying agent in our daily life, water. For purification, water should be pure and not mixed with anything else. Other liquids similar to water like lemon juice cannot do its job. The water available around us is divided into different categories. Water falling down to earth is rainfall. Water which springs forth from the earth and accumulates in wells is well water. If it springs forth and flows it's considered running water. If it's stored and disconnected from its source, according to its amount, if it's around 384 litres or more, it's kur. And if it's less, it's little water. The important thing about these waters is that each of them can purify Najis things differently. But the most common water that we use on a daily basis is from the home pipe system. This water is considered Kur water most times, because these pipes are connected to a huge storage tank that supplies the entire city or district. So once our home's water is connected through the pipes to a Kur water source, we follow its rules. Now, we want to purify shirt that have become Najis by blood. In the first step, you have to remove the visible Najis substance from the shirt. One way to remove the blood is to keep it under the open tap and let the running water penetrate the contaminated area. 
and wash away the blood. What's important is to remove the blood particles in this step. Once it's removed, don't pay any attention to the stains and colours left. If the water coming out has the smell, colour or the taste of the blood, this water will be considered nudges. So just be careful and don't let this nudges water make other things nudges. Second step. Put it under the tap water again and let the water run into all contaminated areas and flow off even by squeezing the shirt if it's needed. Finished. So simple. And now the clothes along with your hands are Tahir. Following these instructions, we can purify lots of things. But if you purify things contaminated by urine, in the second step, you have to rinse it with water twice. And for any kitchen utensils, do it thrice. In the previous example, using little water for purifying, the rules change and are a bit complicated. We recommend you to ask an expert to guide you in this regard. For more videos, follow us on 